Okay, so I got another video for you guys, and um, I felt like I really needed to get this content out. I really needed to talk about this because this is really serious. Now, a lot of you don't know, but Starbucks, watch this, Starbucks will pay for travel expenses for the workers seeking abortion. So basically, they are funding those who want to um, partake in having an abortion. They are paying you. This is what they are pretty much uh, saying that, hey, you know, if you want an abortion, you know, we'll give you the expenses to do so. So they are basically saying that, hey, you know what I mean? We're going to rally behind you if you want to abort your child. Now, we're, we're, we're talking about those um, um, that are the baby have already have formed and stuff like that, you know? So we all know that um, this is a serious topic because we know of abortion. It's been a, um, a, like the Roe v. Wade um, circumstances and situation. And just, you know, as we know that kids, babies are very important to God. And in Jeremiah 1, 5, it says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you before you were born. I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. So meaning that we are here for a purpose, meaning that he knew our lives before we even was conceived. So in the womb, as babies are in the womb, right? And then for a woman to decide to say, hey, you know, I don't want this child. So I want, I want it to die. That could have been the next pastor. That could have been the next engineer. That could have been the next president. That could have been the next, that could have been a person that could have changed the world on behalf of Christ. So again, you know, it's just, it's just crazy how, you know, these corporations, you see what they turn to. So we got to stop supporting these people. Like look at McDonald's, look at Target, you know, now look at Starbucks, but these are the places Christians go and sit down and, and have their coffee. Christians go to Target and they shop, you know, Christians take their ch uh, children to McDonald's to go get a, a Happy Meal and a free reading, you know, as we know about the tarot card, as I posted that video about that. But some of these, but these corporations are pretty much telling you what they stand for. And they all coincide with Hollywood. Illuminati, um, government, news uh, media, they narrative, they all tie into one. Uh, rappers, celebrities, everything is a stage set up. But see, we got to get to the bottom of it because we got to start realizing and understanding that even these social media platforms, these people don't care about you. They throw you little crumbs and yeah, because they want you to continue to keep making content to keep the algorithm going. So therefore, they can stay above flow because they're making billions of dollars while they're giving you crumbs off of it. They don't mind giving you what, uh, um, what you get your what, $5,000. Uh, uh, sometimes you can make $5,000 a week depending on how much content you put out, how many people is watching it, and so forth. And this is why a lot of Christians are gravitating to this, and this is why they only here to make money. But again, we're not talking about that. We're talking about babies. We're talking about what these corporations are doing. So now I want to take you to Psalms, and Psalms 127, and it says, and we are in five. Psalms 127, and, and we're going to go to um, three. It says, sons are a heritage from the Lord, children a reward from him, like the arrows in the hands of a, of a warrior, or sons born in the youth. So, again, this pretty much tells us that to God, children are important. He loves the children. The children is our future. The children is, is, is generations that carries upon, carry out. That's why the, the Bible says, raise your children up in the way that they will go and the world should not depart from them. This is why the Bible say, you know, children, you discipline your children. The Bible speaks upon children because the Lord loves the children, even though we are his children, but his, his babies. And this is why we are in a position to teach them. So therefore, they can grow up in the word, so, so they can grow up knowledgeable about the word of God, so they can grow up in the word of God. So therefore, now we're passing the torch so they can become fishers of men. Be beautiful sisters and brothers in Christ to do his will, to continue the word. 
But for a corporation to do something like this, just just what they stand alone on LGBTQ, how they stand uh, against the things that that they know that makes them enemy of God. So this is what we got to start paying attention to, and I and I believe that a lot of stuff is going to come to surface. Because now things are going to be exposed. But it's up to you, like the Bible says. Those who have eyes, let them see. Those who have ears, let them hear. But we, but things are being exposed. Ever since uh, the pandemic, everything has just been exposed. And a lot more is to come. We're living in the last days. This is just, this is, we are in pearliest time. This is just a little bit of it. But now you're about to see the true colors of those who you support. These corporations, these celebrities, these rappers, these falsified pastors that's in it for just your donations, not in it to give the word of God. The Lord is going to shine a light upon all those that is dark. So don't so don't worry. Those that think that they're playing playing you for a fool or those who think they get no for or those that are high, those that are wolf's clothes, they'll be exposed. In due time, they may not know it, but the Lord is trying to give them time to repent. But these big corporations, these are the ones who you have to watch because they don't like our God. Their God is their money, power. So, if you want coffee, make it at home. God bless you.